Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. My name's Ashley. If you're new here, hi. And if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to take your older classic movies and watch them for the very first time. I give you a preview review with what I think the movie's going to be about based on pop culture. We watch it together, edited, of course, because copyright. And then I give you my review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did it stand the test of time? And I give it stars. If you're new around here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, the like button, maybe even the bell button, and get your ticket to be all aboard the Hot Mess Express. I feel like we just came off of a very comedic week. Had Police Academy last Monday, then Mel Brooks Producers. I gotta say that was a fun week for me. If you have not read the title or seen the thumbnail, it is the 1983 movie, The Outsiders. Why did I pick it? Because it's been commented on, it's been commented and suggested a whole bunch of times. And is this the movie that's based on the book that I feel like everybody and their mama had to read in high school. I feel like I remember reading a book called The Outsiders. I don't really remember what it was about because um, I don't like to read and I can barely remember yesterday. So the odds of me remembering a book from that long ago. So I just decided, I was like, you know what? YOLO, let's watch The Outsiders. I don't want to look up a movie poster because I want to try to go off of what I remember from the book which isn't it a book about like a group of teenage friends that are outsiders. I don't remember why they don't fit the norm. I don't know who's in this movie so maybe I might recognize some faces, maybe I won't, but I guess we won't find out until we get right on into today's Millennial Movie Monday which is the 1983 The Outsiders. nice little ballad. Matt Dillon, that name sounds familiar. Patrick Swayze, he, the movie I watched with him was Ghost. Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise is in this? I forgot that guy existed. Oh, this is Stevie Wonder singing? I didn't recognize his voice. Based upon the novel, I was right. I wonder if I'll recognize Patrick or uh, Tom Cruise if they're going to be this young in this movie. What is going on here? Why is why is this happening? <laughs> you mean to tell me you didn't hear that car come down that gravel alley until it was right up on you? <laughs> why is this happening? I just I just simply don't understand why that happened. But that's Patrick Swayze. He's cute in this movie too. What are you doing walking by your lonesome on the street, huh? Is that one Tom Cruise? Because we're going to have it out with him sooner or later. We sure as hell are. I love that little Mickey Mouse cutoff he's got going on over there. I want to go. Oh, we're taking Evie and I'm going to be honest with you. Am I really supposed to believe that these grown-ass men are teenagers? Loud. Like, there's no way you can tell me that person on the left, the Mickey Mouse cutoff, is a real teenager. Little bro was two-timing me again when I was in jail, man. No, that was Tom cool. Cruise. I don't know what Tom Cruise looks like. Aww. That's a good brother thing to do. He got hit with a lot of responsibilities after mom and dad died. Well, that's why he's being a hard ass. I think I'm gonna marry Sandy. Yay! Congratulations! That's a big deal! So do you in love with Sandy? Mm-hmm. He just said he's gonna marry her. What a dumbass question. Oh, I love that old car. What a nice looking car. A hamburger with cold slaw was only 75 cents? I mean, they can hold the slaw, but wow, what a deal. Why is the 80s always depicted as like this rough and tumble constantly fighting? Was it really like that? Well, why? You're perpetuating the cycle that accomplishes nothing. The sky's getting dark. Let's go. Why do I feel like he talks like this? The sky's getting dark. Let's go. Relax. I mean, just try. You're supposed to be my girlfriend, aren't you? Don't. Why don't we try it, girl? What movie is that? That's a clever. That's a good way to get a look at somebody. <laughs> if this is the same red hair that you have on your, uh, your, your, your these eyebrows too. Oh my god! That's supposed to just got out of some jail or something. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, honey. 
Okay, her voice did not match her words. Like, that was really bad. Seven up. Get lost, Hood! Oh. I didn't know you had this problem with yelling in my face. Well, you have this problem with not leaving her alone. I got a brother named Soda Pop. It even says so on his birth certificate. Well, that's cool. Here, I thought this might cool you off. That's smooth. That's a nice way to, to weasel your way back in. Maybe that oh! Why don't you all come and sit up here with us? You can protect us. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Where is old Dal now, anyway? I don't know. Yeah, where is old Dally? Who are you? You guys seen Dally? No. 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 You guys seen Dally? Is that how he got his scar? Yeah, the guy was wearing a few rings. Ooh, I bet that sucked. Come on, will you? Oh, what you gonna do about it? Let's take it outside. That's... So much fighting. Okay, so greasers are considered the lesser. Sosh means like a bougie person? Like a well-to-do person? The rich kids. Confirmed. Got it. I'm really excited to see drive-ins making a comeback. Like, there's one, like, 45 minutes from Knoxville. So tell me about your oldest brother. You never seem to talk about him. Sir, you are 14 smoking a cigarette. Put that out. Tell me about Derry. Is he wild and reckless like Soda? Or dreamy like you? Oh, she's shooting her shot. And you just shut your trap, Johnny K, because you ain't wanted at home either. You shut your mouth, kid. Oh, I'm going to cry. If I see you in school and I don't say hi, please don't take it personal, okay? No, I would take it personal. What kind of knife that is? Like, uh, cha -cha -cha -cha. Was that the person who hit him and that's how he got his scratch, his cut? Because the rings? Or he's just scared of people with rings now. <laughs> oh, no. I feel so bad for Johnny K! Might have hurt a reputation or something, that's all. Don't worry about it. I feel like Johnny has this overly exaggerated southern accent where nobody else has one. <laughs> ah! Shit! How are they just gonna... We all need a good backstory, but how are you just gonna put it out there like that? What is Derry gonna say? Well, you just tell him what happened, that your friend's parents were fighting, he didn't want to go home, so y'all fell asleep in the lot. Hopefully he will understand. Oh, no! Okay, we had two very dramatic reactions on both sides. I don't know what to do about that. We're running away. No! That's not the plan! That's not the move! That's not what we're gonna do. I think I like it better when the old man's hitting me. At least he knows I'm there. That's so bad! Who is that? Who's following them? They're about to get their ass kicked and make everything ten times worse. I bet they're looking for us. What gave that away? The fact that you were the only two people in the park? It's that guy with the rings, man. Aren't these okay, so I was right. It is the dude with the rings and he's scared of. Okay, got it. You guys better watch it. No, pal. You better watch it. Well, shut the hell up, sweater vest. Oh, good for you, party boy. I mean, you might have just written, like, your own death warrant, but, like, you stood up for yourself. Good for you. Ah, oh, shit. Johnny didn't come to play. Hell yeah. They're not really gonna drown him, right? Oh, Johnny. Don't stab somebody. Oh. Oh, no. Johnny big stab somebody. Shit. What are we gonna do now? Oh, damn. What are we gonna do? Hey, Johnny. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Not good. Killed him. Which one? Let me see. Um. That one. The ring guy. The douchebag. Um, so what do we do? What do we do about the body? Kind of surprised his friends ain't got the cops to the park yet. I just simply do not remember this from the book. Oh, look at the dog! <laughs> Man, I wish I had a weed now. Wish I had a weed. You sound like me talking about weed. Okay, did he just light that with his necklace? That's so cool. Okay. Girl, you tried. If they're getting out of town, why did why did Johnny need the gun? Because if it's for self-defense, well, nobody should be attacking him at an abandoned church, right? Yeah, Budweiser, the drink you need when you're working with heavy machinery. Oh, well, that's a cute little place. Did y'all get your food that you're supposed to get? Bunnies! Hi, little babies! All right, what's our game plan now, buddies? Hey, Johnny. Oh, be careful. Johnny, how'd you know I always want to go with the wind? Remember you saying something about it once? What a beautiful friendship! Also, 
Also, he bought a week's worth of bologna, but they don't have a refrigerator. You really trust Johnny with that knife? He done kill somebody. It's a look. You needed a change. Look, I'm sorry I cut your hair off, pony boy. What ain't that? I was gonna say, I think he's he's just crying from everything y'all been through. Just last night we was walking Terry and Marshall home from the movies. Oh yeah. Man, so much did happen in one night, huh? What a close-knit friendship they have. Get comfortable by a fire together, stab somebody together, run away together. It's just that's a good friend. John, excuse you awake. What is is that a bear? What are we gonna do about that? Oh, it's a raccoon. <laughs> Some lay stiff and still, but many withered in the hot sun. That's another one that I haven't read nor seen, and that is Gone with the Wind. Look at that golden lighting. Take a selfie. Nothing gold can stay. That's deep. I've never heard that before. I don't think I could ever tell Steve or Tubit, or even Derry about the clouds and sunset. Nah, they make fun of you for that. Maybe Cherry Valance. Well, you killed her boyfriend, so I don't think... I don't think she would want to talk to you right now. Oh no! Who is it? Are they for real not waking up? Who is it? I'm nervous! Hey, oh. You want to get some need? I'm starving, man. You're starving. Try bologna for four days. <laughs> I love bologna. How come you got hauled in? Those boys down at the station know me by now. I was going to say, you have a record, so they pulled you. You know, they had to round up the usual suspects. I hope you guys are in the mood for party, man. Jerk! What do you want? What Try lay low key and maybe not do anything that would draw attention to us. Look at that old ass Dairy Queen. You guys, go away! Get out of here! You little buck tooth brat asking people for money? Get on out of her. That was mean. I'm sorry. She said that she'd uh, testify that the socials were drunk. Good for her being a double agent. And uh, fighting. You guys just fought back strictly on self-defense. Which is accurate. I asked if my parents asked about me. No, they didn't ask about you. So what? Your chosen family's worried about you, Johnny. Damn! No! Look at his little bitty tie. Why was there a school bus at an abandoned church anyway? What a little shithead kid bites somebody who's trying to save him from a burning building. Johnny, what are you looking for, my dude? Did he just fall in a hole? Oh! No! You know, you shouldn't be smoking, son. He was Why just not? in a burning building full of smoke. I don't think the cigarette's gonna do much more damage. <gasps> His brothers reunited! I thought we lost you like we did mom and dad. Oh no! Can I get you some breakfast or something? Nope. What a weird exchange is happening right now. Yeah, in here. Don't slam the door. <laughs> don't slam the door. Why did you grab the skillet? Bro, I'm no brain. Derry, have you seen my DX shirt somewhere? Hey, you gotta wear no. your Oh my god, Soda, you're gonna show your whole self. Hey, how about my jeans? Yeah, I ironed them in my closet, Derry. Which one is Tom Cruise? I don't know. You smoke more than a pack today, and I'll skin you, you understand? Yeah. You are 14 smoking a pack of cigarettes a day? How do you even do that? Beer and a chocolate cake for breakfast. All right, well. Did the other brother ever propose to his girlfriend? Go ahead, I'll keep my eye on him. Come on. I wouldn't just walk off with these people. They tried to drown you. This was waiting for a flood. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you making fun of their pants when you could be making fun of their sweaters? Been nice talking to you, Randy. My name's Pony Boy. We love character development. This is so nice. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Why is he laying on his stomach? And his parents haven't come seen him probably? That makes me so sad. So I can't feel anything below the middle of my back. Pretty bad off, ain't I, Pony Boy? Oh my god! I'm gonna cry! So much stuff I ain't done yet. So many, so many damn things I ain't seen or nothing. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. This is heavy. It's too much! Sometimes it's your chosen family, man, that's really there for you, you know? Yes, you're a You're gonna 
want to smoke in a hospital? What are you about to do? That just seems excessive. What are you about to do with this knife? You know, the only thing that keeps Derek from being a social is us. Well, that and where he lives and how much money he makes and where he works. Like, it's not just you guys. They play your way. It's a fair deal. Why do I feel like they're not going to play fair? What? He killed Bob. Oh. Oh, yeah. I forgot. He was your boyfriend. Yeah, yeah I like to fight, fight, man. You like fights, huh? Why is everybody so rough and tumble? I don't understand. How come you like fights, Derek? Ah, we do love a shirtless Patrick Swayze. Okay, everything about that, this seems incredibly excessive, but all right. I'm very worried about Johnny. I really hope he does not die. Okay, I get it. They got a gang there. Let's, all right, I get it. The scene seems to be taking a little too long. Hello, Daryl. Long time no see. And you are telling me I'm supposed to believe that man in that letter jacket is a teenager? There is no way in hell that man is a teenager. I mean, the rain adds a nice little element. So, when you're fighting like this, how do you know who wins? Is it like total amount of knockouts? Is it the first people to retreat? Okay, so if we're going by people retreating, I would say the Greasers won because it looks like the Socias are leaving. He done ruined those nice white pants. How bad is he? Well, I mean, he don't look good. Okay, but now you have to take him to the hospital. I don't know if that was your original plan, but... Pony's not doing well. Oh my god, is Johnny okay? Stay calm. From their sunset conversation... Did Johnny just die? Come on, Johnny. Don't die. Y'all wanna yell for a nurse or something? You wanna try to get some help or something? Did you just pull out a gun? No! Dallas, no! You better not! Oh no, none of those people know that Johnny's dead! Bro, oh, now you have to buy it. Dallas is not okay. I don't know what's about to happen, but it's not gonna be good. It's an empty gun, though. But still. He really fired back, and Dallas didn't even have a single bullet in there. Dallas gonna die tonight! Damn! What? So many things just happened. Oh, this is stressful. I don't like this game. Oh my god. Sherry, get over yourself. Get over yourself. What an absolute bitch. Oh my god. Should it be some kind of research paper? Personal experience will do it. Well, boy, how does he have plenty of those? Just don't stop living because you lose somebody. Thought you knew that. Oh, that's too touchy of a subject, sir. Y'all just always fighting about something. And Soda is the one that's just trying to just live life, man. Y'all all lost two people. Like, show a little grace and compassion for each other. You don't want to be like me anyway. Because I'm happy working at a gas station. As long as you're happy. I know I'm supposed to be sure. listening to this conversation, and I am. Sure, little buddy. But, um, we ain't gonna fight Soda no Pop more. and Derry, they two good looking men. Why y'all always running everywhere? What is that? Is that a note from Johnny and God with the wind? Stop it. I want you to ask Dally to look at one. I don't think he's ever seen a sunset. Oh, that did not age well. Ooh, I really thought I was gonna lose it during that letter. Kinda surprised I didn't. Wow, it came full circle. Oh my God, let's talk about it. Hold on, which one was Tom Cruise? Of course I don't remember which one Steve was. Let's talk about it. You know what? I feel like y'all tried to get me to watch this because y'all knew Johnny was going to die, obviously. And y'all wanted to see me cry again. And I got to be honest with you, I am very proud of myself for not absolutely losing it. Was it sad that Johnny passed away? Yes. It was very touching, their friendship, Pony Boy and Johnny. A very beautiful friendship. And then Stay Golden, Pony Boy, that's so... Which I've heard that quote before. I didn't know who Pony Boy was. I didn't realize it was from here. And you know what? Even if this is a book, I mean, it was confirmed that it is a book. I really don't remember it. I don't retain any information, clearly. Hold on. I'm really annoyed that I can't remember who Tom Cruise was. It says it was Steve. I don't remember Tom Cruise in... What is this? The Outsiders. 
Oh, wait, he was the guy with the messed up teeth. We didn't really see a lot of him, did we? So maybe I did guess him right at the beginning of the movie, at least whenever he came in. His teeth were very different then. I said at one point, was this really how the 80s were? I don't think this was based in the 80s because of the greasers. I think it was more of a 50s. I got the 50s vibe later on into the movie, but was it really like that? Were people just fighting to fight? Because that's obnoxious. I always hate it. I always hate it when I have something like this to say because I'm just, I'm just not ready for the comments. I personally did not completely enjoy this movie and I think that is why I didn't get super emotional when Johnny died because I wasn't nearly <laughs> a, like not even a quarter of invested in this movie as I was Steel Magnolias, Fried Green Tomatoes. I respect this movie for the classic that it is. I didn't really enjoy watching it though. But that's a personal opinion and you know what they say, opinions are like assholes Everybody has one and most of them stink, but that's just me. I didn't personally enjoy this movie. I'm glad that I have a movie that I can mark off of my posters to say that I watched and I have another Patrick Swayze under my belt and not just Ghost, so that's fun. This might be my first introduction to Tom Cruise on the channel and I did a really piss poor job of identifying which one he was. It just wasn't really my jam, so I'm sorry about that. But. You win some, you lose some, and you can't like them all, and I'm just here to be honest with you. Like, subscribe, stick around a little bit longer this Friday. I continue in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which I have created a playlist for so you can keep up with it and catch up. I continue in release order, which appears to be Captain America. Don't worry, I also have the Funko ready to watch as well. So, stick around. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside of the YouTube-averse, and I guess I'll see you right here on Friday for a continuation in the Marvel Cinematic Universe.